Well, the persimmon looks all right. I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. Anako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh. 
And it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah? I guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, look! It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, Kanako-chan? I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes. <laughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanako-chan. <laughs> Hey there. Heard you got some weapons for me. You say that with such confidence. Tell me, what family are you from? Surely, you're not some civilian. I'm with Arakawa. The Arakawa family of the Tojo clan. It... well, I was. The Tojo clan. Interesting. Just like Kazuma and Kiryu. What? You got some buddies over there? Hardly. Those people I avoid. It's best they don't know my face. Okay. It, now listen, why'd your men attack me? I was just trying to give out a password. I was determining your level of trust. 
Those who cannot handle secrets spill them. A fatal move in our line of work. Which is to say, only a fool would arm a weak man. That is why we tested you. To determine the character behind your strength. So that's what that was. Yes. And you have proven your worth. Our doors are open to you from now on. You mean it? Only under the condition you tell no one. Like I said, this is a trust-based business. Do anything to blow our cover. I'll strike you down. Hey, you can relax. I know I look laid back, but I'm no snitch. No, and I'm Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. You are? Chao. Chao Kalong. Well then, Chao san, let's do some business. You're here. Appreciate the business.
いらっしゃいませありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございました。Should I open it? Sweet! So this is... Okay. Ya, I did. The city's peace. Hello, Kasuga.
damn key. Should I open it? Got it. I didn't know a bug could be so pretty. It's like it's painted silver. You got a real nice shine there, bud. Promise I'll take good care of you. There you are. Ichiban Kasuga, would you? Eh? I mean, yeah, that's me. Oh, I should introduce myself. My name's Kaede Kono. I knew I'd get to see you again someday. <laughs> hey, um, Kaede chan? Sorry, but do we know each other? We did meet once, a long time ago. I was assaulted on the streets of Kamurocho, but you came to my rescue before any harm was done. Kamurocho... You sure it was me you ran into? My memory's kinda hazy on that. Uh, well, I, I guess it's not that important. It was a long time ago. Uh, that sucks. Thought I'd remember helping out such a cutie. Oh, please. Cute is the last thing I am. Anyway, I... I didn't get the chance to thank you back then. I just couldn't say anything at the time. Well, it's nice that you still remember me. But you know, if we were both in Comrade Show, then why didn't we run into each other again? Uh, that's the thing. I rarely set foot outside because of my illness. I couldn't even go to school. That's probably why we never saw each other around. I had really hoped we would catch up sooner, but I guess time waits for no one. Eventually, I realized you had packed up and left home for good. Oh. But I decided I would find you someday, somehow. You're welcome. I'm glad to. Well, I'm no longer confined to a hospital bed. I can tell you that much. I'm free to roam the world now. So I guess I'm trying to cross things off my bucket list. And the first thing on it was finding you. Oh yeah? So even though this girl only met me once, she's been waiting for me all this time. And here I was thinking no one gave a damn about me being gone. Almost makes me want to cry. All right! Now let's go out to celebrate. In honor of your return to the outside world. You mean it? I would love to. Though, the way we're talking about it makes it seem like I just got out of prison. <laughs> yeah. 
Why would I know anything about that? <laughs> well, I'm happy either way. So are we leaving right now? If you have things to do, I could always wait. Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, then lead the way. The only thing is, what would make her happy? Maybe we can head to a bar? Always nice talk. I could introduce you to some really cool people. At a bar? Hmm, that... Ah. Uh... Well, how about an arcade? No... Oh, I'd love that. I've actually... No way. Really? Uh, right. You've been stuck inside a hospital this whole time. Well, let's head on over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Arigatou gozaimasu. Bye. 
Take it from me, you're better off finding a temp job. You okay, Kaede-chan? Kasuga-san, you protected me just like before. Even after all these years, you're still my one and only hero. Right. It's getting pretty dark out. Guess that means... Hey, huh? there's one more place I'd like to go. Would you... Mind staying with me just a little longer? Sure. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I've always wanted to see the town lit up at night like this. It is a sight to see. Never thought a view like this was in my own backyard. You know, it's crazy how we met up out of nowhere. Especially after all this time. Yeah, tell me about it. You know, I would watch you all the time from my hospital room. Wait, watch me doing what? Well, at first, I only heard your voice. You were really loud, so that's what initially got my attention. Give me back my change, or meat you still eating. <laughs> I would hear that kind of thing every day. Yeah, that does sound a lot like me. At first, I wasn't sure what to think of you, but I warmed up to you pretty quick. Instead of lying around in bed wondering whether I'd live or die, I had someone else to focus on. Whenever you were in short sleeves, I knew it was summer. Or when you wore a scarf, I knew it was winter. Really? Damn, if I'd known I was being watched, I would have worn cooler stuff. No. What you wore was perfect. It reflected the true you, Kasuga-san. The man I fell in love with. Huh? You serious? Oh, hold on, hold on. Did I hear you right? You love me? <laughs> I hope that's not a problem. Hey, Kasuga-san? Live long. And stay happy. For both of us. Huh? Hey, no loitering, you drunk! Mm -hmm. Hey! Who were you babbling to just now? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to make a scene or anything. Huh? <laughs> you wasted, big guy? Maybe you need to walk down to the station. Uh, no, officer. No need for that. I was just about to leave. Yeah? Well, I suggest you get on home. Don't be a nuisance. Okay. Again, when it's my time.
ですか Honestly, Ayamiko, you can't do anything without your senpai. What kind of tour guide goes the wrong way? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's going on over there? I don't know if you're nervous or what, but trouble our customers like that again and you're fired! Next one is your last chance. Make sure you know your stuff! Uh, if I get fired in front of my parents, my life will be totally ruined. Hey, I noticed you were pretty down over here. You alright? Huh? That guy was yelling at you pretty loud, so I got kind of worried. Oh, you saw me get scolded by my boss, huh? Oh, how embarrassing. He said something about you being a guide? Yes. I'm a tour guide with Chinatown Tours. I just recently moved to the city, but I have severe performance anxiety, and, well, I'm always messing up. All the other new girls are doing really well while I'm out here making a total fool of myself. My senpai's usually around to help me, but she was out sick today. I tried doing it by myself, but... It was a total disaster. Oh, so that's why your boss was yelling at you. Yes. And if I mess up again, I might lose my job. That's rough. And that's not the only thing. My parents are going to be at my next one. They wanted to see me shine, so they flew all the way out here. And you don't want to look bad in front of your parents. That definitely adds some pressure. That's why I have to do well on this next one. But I don't have a lot of time. It's just gonna be another train wreck without my senpai's help. What should I do? Yeah, that's a real drag. There's gotta be something you can do. I know this is sudden, but I have something I need to ask you. What's that? Would you be willing to help me in my next Chinatown tour? Uh, me? I know I'm being unreasonable, but do you think you could? Just having someone around will be a big help. You're asking me for help like I'm some kind of Chinatown expert. I'm kind of not. I'll be informing everyone about each stop we visit on the tour. I just need you to chime in any time I get nervous and clam up. <sighs> You're the only person I can turn to at this point. Won't you please help? And of course, I'll make sure you're rewarded too. All right, fine. I'll sure as hell try. Oh, thank you, mister. I know we've only just met, but I'm incredibly grateful for how kind you've been. My name is Ayami Ishida. Nice to meet you, Ayami. I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, pleased to meet you. Okay, let me fill you in on the places we'll be visiting. I'll simulate the tour with these pictures, so let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you again. Okay. First, take a look at this picture. This here is the entrance to Ch This magnificent gate is called the Pai Fong, and it's a staple of traditional Chinese architecture. Pai Fong, huh? 
That's a first for me. It's said that a red dragon lies within the Pai Fong, acting as its guardian. It watches over Chinatown from the gate, ensuring there's peace in the community. A red dragon, huh? Well, that's perfect for Chinatown. Chinatowns are often associated with the color red, too. Okay. Next, I'll explain the stalls that line the street. Even in Chinatown, the street is lined with many well-known stores. And in our tour, we'll be going to the meat bun shop with the blue sign. They're known for their ultra-packed super bun. Pretty fancy. The meat bun is so incredibly large, it's nearly the same size as a soccer ball. You should give it a try sometime, Kasuga-san. Okay. This will be the final stop on the tour. The Swine Latong Statue. It's said to be the god that presides over all the food in Chinatown. Swine Latong? It's called Swine Latong because it's a play on both Swan Latong, Chinese hot and sour soup, and the pork often used in the recipe. Wow, that's, uh, unique. There's a very interesting legend regarding this adorable Swine Latong. Rub the Swine Latong's right ear four times before you leave Chinatown, and you'll encounter delicious food wherever you go. Rub its right ear four times. Am I supposed to be taking notes? The paint is starting to chip on its right ear, so use that to help you remember. Okay, that covers it. Think you'll be okay, Kasuga-san? This is tough, but it's... Mm, well, when is the real thing? Still, I want to show my parents that I can stand on my own two feet, so I'll do my best. I have some things to do before the tour, so I'll be waiting in front of the Tayo Gate on Chinatown Way. All right, I'll see you later. Go.
Yo. すみませんでした。Thank you for joining us on our tour today. I'm sure there are a few times I made a mistake or two, and for that, I apologize. No, no, it was a lot of fun going around Chinatown like that. Thank you. That big bully guy was really scary. But you were so cool. You didn't flinch one bit. Oh no! I squeaked like a mouse. I was super scared. <laughs> You're funny, Miss. Oh, Miss, what was the name of that pig we saw at the end? The swine Latang. 
It's a new specialty here in Chinatown. They say you- That's right, Swine Latong. That thing's so cute. I want to get a phone strap or something. If you're looking for those, they sell them at the shop near the entrance, so by all means, please stop by. Thank you so much. Do you feel like you got any better at guiding people today, miss? Huh? Actually, you know what? I'm not nervous anymore. Hey, that's great. Uh, thank you, everyone. That's it for the tour. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for Bye. Time. Kasuka-san, thank you so much for today. You really know how to fight. Well, that's pretty much all I'm good at. But forgive me. Great job standing up to that gorilla, Ayami. I was really scared at first. But when I thought about protecting my customers, I didn't feel so afraid anymore. Right? Dependable, cool, and most importantly, able to create the best memory for all the customers. That's why I came here. That's the kind of tour guide I want to be. That's really great. I'd say you were four for four on that, Ayami. The tour customers looked like they were having a lot of fun, and your dad and mom were both impressed too. You think so? Oh, I'm so glad. It's really all thanks to you, Kasuka-san. It's because you worked hard, Ayami. You've got some great parents. <laughs> well, I'm going out with them tonight, so I'll be sure to treat them well. Oh, right. I'd like you to have this, Kasuka-san. All right, then. I hope to see you again sometime. <sighs> okay. Time to head back. Um, excuse me. Huh? Sorry to bother you. I'm Ayami's mother. And I'm Ayami's father. Thank you so much for helping her today. No, I didn't do anything that special. Ayami worked hard because she knew you guys were coming. Well, that girl can be a little scatterbrained sometimes, but she does her best to be a good daughter. We were worried that all she might do was try to please us and that her performance would suffer because of it. That being said, we were very much relieved to see how well she did today. I never knew Ayami was so strong, nor that she could make others smile like that. My husband even cried he... Oh, come on. That's beside the point. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be an even better tour guide from now on. Every parent has to let their child fly solo at some point. And it helps that there's great guys like Kasuga-san out there, too. And just what is your relationship to our sweet Ayami exactly? Please, dear. Oh, right. That was rude of me. Kasuga-kun, was it? We'd like you to have this. I hope you'll be there for Ayami if she ever needs you again. <sighs> good to see a family that's looking out for each other like that. Keep up the good work, Ayami. Thank you.